You know, every time I use apples in something, my producer says, oh, remember to make the reference between apples and the Garden of Eden and Adam and Eve eating the apple. Well, that's not really, it's never mentioned to be an apple, by the way. It's the tree of the fruit, the fruit of the tree of knowledge. But whatever, you think of apples and you think of uh, fall and maybe you think of cider. Well, let's try this. This is something I think you're gonna love. This is a dulce de leche ice cream or a caramel ice cream, okay? And this is gonna make a great float for, uh, this is like a special occasion because I think it's very, very rich. You got this, and then I've got some sparkling cider. Now this is Martinelli's, probably the best known. In fact, this was the one that uh, Dean Martin used to drink, Martinelli's, and he would pretend it was booze and it wasn't, it was really Martinelli's uh, sparkling cider. Now I have another store brand of sparkling apple cider. Now this, this is not hard cider or anything, it has no alcohol in it, so it's great for the kids. And it's really, really tasty. You got apples, what goes better than apples and caramel? Apples and caramel. A little whipped cream on the top. Ooh, like that. A little bit of a cinnamon sprinkle. You know, some flavors just go together so well, don't they? And there you've got, in a slice of apple, you've got your apple, caramel, cinnamon float. Or in Buffalo, we call this a soda.